Hi, scholars. Uh, today, I want to talk to you all about the long vowels. And if you remember, a vowel are, are the letters that are A, E, I, O, and U. All other letters are called consonants. We're going to talk today about the long vowel sound. There we go, A, E, I, O, and U. And the reason we have the mouth over here is because the long vowels say their names. Let's start with long A. Okay, there's many spellings for the long A sound. Let's start first with A blank E, and that is consonant, vowel, consonant, and E. And the E is a silent E. And I like to say that E is so strong, like this ape, that it gives its sound to the vowel right here. So it makes it say your name. Let's see what words we have. We have game, g aim, sail, t ape, h eight. If we didn't have that e there, that word would be hat. If we didn't have that e there, it would be tap. So the e is what makes it say the long vowel sound. Okay, another spelling is a i, and you'll find a i in the middle of a word. We have consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, and consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. Let's look at the words we have with the long a spelled that way, and we have t ale, p ain't, ter ain, and pull ain. A Y is another way that we can spell the long A sound, and you will see that usually at the at the ending of a word. So we have consonant, vowel, vowel, or you might have two consonants um, followed by the A Y. Let's look. We have day, and here's one that has two consonants: stay, way, and gray. Okay, another way to spell that. Uh, a sound is EY at the end. No A there at all, but EY together may say that sound. And so let's look at some words that have that. I'm going to move this so we can see those. Let's see what they are. We have they and obey. Okay, finally we have the spelling E I G H. And that would be consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. And it would say the long A sound, like in this word, eight. And this kind of eight is the number, weight, and nay. And that's the sound that a horse makes. Okay, let's move on to long E. And I have a picture of an eel there. And this will be one of our spellings, but let's start with our silent E rule. All right, here we go. Not many words are spelled with E blank E, but here is an example of a name uh, that is the long E sp sound spelled with the silent E, Pete. And two E's together which can be in the middle of the word. And as you see in tree, it's at the end of the word too, but two E's together will always say the long E sound. Tree, sleep, feet, street. All right now we have the E-A spelling, and that is beak, treat, eat, and meal. Now this one's a little complicated. We have Y at the end of a word. Now Y doesn't always say E at the end of the word. So Y takes E sound at the end of the Y, but must have two consonants. There they are, two consonants before the Y, and those two consonants are the same consonant. So let's look at an example. So we have happy, and there's where P is the same, two consonant, Y. Kitty, same consonant, Y. Puppy, same consonant, 
two times. Why? Tricky. This one's tricky because it is not the same, but there's my two consonants between my vowel and the ending. So there we go. Okay, our next spelling. And I am going to move my picture again so you can see that. You can see those now a little bit better. And now we have um, IE at the end of a word. And IE is when I have taken my Y like um, and changed it. Some, and this one had to change it to an I before I could add an ES to make that mean more than one puppy. So we have cookies, puppy, and kitties. Now, if I took the S off a of cookie, it would still be cookie. I wouldn't have to spell that with a Y. And the last way is an open vowel, which is E at the end of the word. And it's just a one syllable. Okay, so just one syllable, open vowel. We have B, she, we, he. All right, now moving on to the long I sound, one of my favorite things, which is ice cream, is with the long I sound. And here we go. We're going to start with our I blank E. We have fire, time, pipe, and smile. I-G-H. Now this is not like in long A where it was E-I-G-H, because that would say A. This is just I-G-H. And you guys have heard me sing I G H I G H I I I G H. That's the sound it makes. That's one way to spell a long I sound. We see that in light and sigh and flight and night. All right here's where Y at the end sounds like long I, where it steals long I sound. And you'll see that even though there are two consonants here, um, they're not the same consonant. Like in puppy, it was two P's and a Y. Okay, so this is sky, try, my, and cry. IE again can sound like an I and not just E. And I'm going to move my picture so you can see these words. All right, we have the word pie, fries, and skies. So usually when two vowels are together, the first one says its name. So it would make sense that this would say I, but it can also say the long E sound, so you might have to try it both ways when you're reading. Okay, and another um, place that you might see the long I sound is in a word that has I and D together, such as find, mind, kind, and blind. Long O sound, I have the emoji that's like, oh no, because he says O, oh. and we're going to start with the O blank E. Move my picture again so you can see. And we have consonant, vowel, consonant with our silent E. This word is poke, mope, which means you're kind of walking around sad, home, and stone. OA, again with the two vowels together, the first one's going to say its name. We have boat, foam, coat, and goal. And then we have OW, and this little mark means that OW at the end of a word is going to say O. Now sometimes it will say OW in different places in the word, but at the end it's usually O. So I would not use this spelling in the middle, like I would not spell boat, B-O-W-T, that would be bout, okay? And I wouldn't spell foam, F-O-W-M. So we can't just generalize the rule of O-W is the only way to spell it. It's usually at the end. We have blow, flow, grow, and show. And then we also have O, again, the open syllable at the end, just one syllable, we have no, go, so. Now here's a two syllable word, but the E is not doing, have anything to do with the O. So we have hello, okay? All right, so that's long O. One more left. Our last vowel, 
is long U. And I call this the stinky smell sound. Ooh, because it can say ooh, or it can say its name U. It depends on the word. So let's look at these words. And our first spelling is U blank E, the silent E. And we have the words June and mule. Now, E-W, no U there at all, but it does say the stinky smell, ooh, sound. So we have flu, drew, new, and blue. And then our last spelling of the long U is U-E, and here are some examples, true, blue, glue, and Tuesday. Now I'm noticing that this word blue is the same as this word blue, but they're spelled differently, which means they have different meanings. So this blue you might recognize as the color word. So you might be talking about, I'm wearing a blue shirt, um, blue's my favorite color. And this kind of blue refers to the past tense of blow, like the wind blew hard yesterday. So, uh, and when two words sound exactly alike but are spelled differently, that is called a homophone, and we'll get into that later. But today I just wanted to review the long vowel sounds with you.